My name is Rapsy, welcome back to Darkest Dungeon, specifically the Darkest Raptopia, second of his name. We need to get some people in treatment, and then we've got a mission to go kill that drowned crew, y'all. If I recall correctly, there were a couple people here that I wanted to lock something in on. Uh, Leoloff definitely needs to lock out Cedia Mania, there's no discussion about that, that needs to happen. None of the rest of those do I want to lock in. Ooh. Is it sickly and natural swing? Yeah, it's probably sickly and natural swing. Make sure you never miss regardless. Seems good to me. All right. With all of that done, uh, Bravia keeps her rabies. Let us go into the cove. So our party at the moment is Reynard as the lead. Reynard is all damage build at the moment, which is something I usually don't do with Reynard. He's usually my stunner, but my second is Major General, and Major General is definitely going to be my stunner. So why is Reynard my damage? Well, consider the fact that the Drowned Crew is unholy. And Reynard has Smite, which is plus 35% damage against unholy. And then on top of that, we'll have plus 30% damage from the trinkets, as well as plus 5% crit on top of the plus 2% crit on top of uh, the 7, 7, 7, 14. 14% crit, and is hard skinned, gonna be a great frontliner. It's gonna be a blast. It's also worth noting that he has the access to Holy Lance, which is going to be really important, because in the final fight, they often like to, this is the Drown Crew, try to pull things forward, that is to say your backliners, they try and move them to the front. So we have Major General here, who can move himself forward by using Rampart, and then we have Reynard, who can use him, uh, move himself forward using Holy Lance. So I'll be able to reshuffle the party without wasting actions. That's a huge reason why I built this party like this. We've also got Derville here, just because Plague Doctors are great in this area. We've got Monty, because you need a healer, and we don't don't have a particularly high level uh occultist at the moment i mean we do have one that just came back from the dead i think it's galane um but they're not really ready for prime time this is also going to allow me to take use of the prophet's eye as well as the ancestor scroll and then the ancestor's map is being held by derville really re a bit damage low in this party at the moment but that really shouldn't matter when it gets down to it All right, let's provision. Du -du 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 Beautiful. And then we'll take four of those, stack of those. I I really love my medicinal herbs in this area. I can't I can't out uh, uh, overstate that. I do have battlefield medicine, so I'm not going to be picking up bandages and anti venom. Yeah, that's me covered. That <laughs> that is that is me covered, tip to toe. Let's go. While the greedy dogs slept off their revelry, I hexed their anchor with every twisted incantation I could muster, imbuing it with the weight of my ambition and my contempt for their crude extortion. At the witching hour, the anchor pulled with preternatural force, dragging craft and crew down into the depths. They must have cried out, but no sound escaped the swirling black waters. Damn, dude, you're a huge the asshole. Poor devils, chained and drowning for eternity. Like, I know where the enemies are. Yeah, <laughs> right there. But I'd really like to get some more loot out. Woo! Hello, Squiffy Gust. All right, well, we kind of got a standard order that we need to work off of here. If I know anything about unique enemies, it's that they need to die first. That said, Bloated Thrall needs to die very quickly also. What the fuck was that? That's a lot of damage. All right, that's a buff on the Squiffy Ghast. Okay, if we can stun the back line the next round, we will. Maddening Shanty. We dodged it, but it moved you to the very front of the party. Spearfishing tries to pull. It works. That's going to be really unfortunate because it means my backline stun isn't going to work now. Oh, fuck off. Ugh. 
please don't pull her forward as well. Oh, great. Well, we just get to waste the turn. This guy is probably going to blow up at this rate. That's terrifying. Off kill to jig. Moves himself to the back. Gives everyone horror as well as a, a damage view. uncertainty. The birthplace of dread. Yeah, there we go. That's Death fucking ridiculous. For the slightest lapse in concentration. First fight. What is... Okay, I need to know right now. What is his speed? Thrall. Because they're not supposed to outspeed you pretty much ever. Uh, Postulant Thrall. And I've got three speed. I think they have negative. I think they have negative speed. If they do have negative speed, then I'm really fucking mad because that was ridiculously unlikely and makes me a sad dude for it to have occurred to me. Drown Thrall. All right. Duh, duh, duh. Had two speed. Okay, so it wasn't, wasn't ridiculously unlikely. It just was unlikely and sucked. As the <sighs> purchase, spirits are lifted. And purpose is made clear. Well, shit. Ah, oh, thanks. Let's fucking pile it on, bud. A death by inches. Achievement four on the floor. Achievement four on the floor is. Da -da -da. Achievement, come on, tell me what it is. I need to know, I need to know. Kill Squiffy Gar, Squi uh, Swine Skyver, Bone Bearer, and Hateful Virago. Okay, I've done, I've done each of those, fair enough. I, I've done each of those, it's okay, cool. Uh, I'm, I'm so tilted, I'm already hugely tilted. This is gonna be really difficult. We're gonna need to find a, a stall. There's, there's no two ways around it. We need to find a position where we can stall for a while. Uh, the stress eels, we do have a stress eel. We do have, like, some ability to stall here. Not here in this fight, but we do have some some ability to stall as a party. Surges as the enemy crumbles. A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. Can you not? Oh, yikes. Are we actually- we're gonna have someone stress out really, really quickly here. Throw that back, throw that back. If we have someone stress out, I think- I think it's just go home time. I can't- I can't just juggle these two. Okay, 140. Could work. It does. Yeah, since both of my frontliners only have the ability to hit the front two targets... Well, I mean... Okay, my only damage frontliner only has the ability to hit the front two targets. Really frustrating here. Yep. You're pretty much down on your luck right there. I think we just have to, like, rest immediately after this? And then possibly just leave? I don't... I... I didn't expect to have fucked up this bad already. I kind of thought that it would wait a while. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Mortality clarified. Uh -huh. Doesn't look like it's waiting for anything. Well, thank you for not going for the death blow, I guess. Holy shit. All right, let's take you off of death's door again. Managing your stress excellently. May we find victory. Working perfectly. Good crit. Cool, you're dead before you know it. We'll stun you. Uh-uh. 
There's a 70% chance to hit that stun. Had to try it. That stun should connect, and it does. Eighteen's a pretty good number. Go across the party doing that. Gently. This is how a life is taken. Okay, Battlefield will still cure myself, despite the fact that I'm healing someone else. So I'll heal the person that needs my health more. I'm gonna try and remove your stress just a little bit because you are way too close to being the saddest dude of all time. See if we can debuff here. We do. All right, that's gonna buy us a lot of rounds. So this is his first round alone, if I recall correctly. We do have extra stun resist, but we have extra stun chance. All right, we're eking a lot of work out of this. I like it, I like it. Especially if we hit a Blight now. Because we can't really afford to hit another stun. Then this works out really well. We'll give the extra stress heal to the person who's on Death's Door. Because the Death's Door recovery means that they will be taking extra stress damage. Alright, we'll see if we can get a crit. We do. Destroy them. Okay, if we manage a lot of the end of our fights like that, we should be okay. It's just, it's going to be rough. Focus the postulant thrall. Yeah, just, just focus it until it's dead. I can't have it. Um, can't have it act. Good hit. I mean, it'll never get a meaningful action at this rate. Yeah, because of that, I'm going to try and prevent the Pelagic Piranha from getting this turn. Bloated Thrall always does one normal attack before it does the, the bad one. All right. There we go. Now, as long as the Pelagic Tide Master doesn't heal them up, and they don't, that's what happened last time. That's what fucked us over last time. And we're good. Okay, both of those acted really quickly. If we can get a yawp on them, a, a yell at them rather, we'll be in grand position. Yell at them! Okay, they both got debuff. That's perfect. You don't have any extra resistances. So there's a stun for you. That guy dies. UD. Unforgiving. As I've said, I need to eke every single bit of value out of this is that I can to try and get people back on their feet. Which includes stress recovering when otherwise I should be hitting and hitting when otherwise the path is clear. I should be stunning. It's 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 gonna be risky. To follow it. Okay, now we get a good stun on the Pelagic Tide Master. We're getting very, very close to a party back on reasonable standing in terms of HP. That's fucking annoying. You have speed five right now. What is... How are you outspeeding my... I guess your eight and your... Four. All right, fair enough. Uh, another stress seal on you. As the fiend falls... Good stun here would not go awry. Mm-hmm. Right, 13. Beautiful. Yell at him. Excellent. Now you're dead in two rounds, and I can take all the time I want here. And also, it's super slow, so we should be able to get all of our actions out before it dies due to the poison. All right. Everyone's back in terms of tip-top HP. Beautiful. Now it's pretty much just time to start hitting those heals. Ah, rough. Give them no quarter. Couldn't have known that was going to go poorly in that way. Uh, Boss are really important. So they will actually take that slot over. These are still important as well. 
Until I get the Athenium there, it's still important. Fucking Hylomanic. Yeah, thankfully you resisted. I really should have just been okay with my lot in life and not gone down this way because the Squiffy Ghast was not worth it. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles. Paid for in blood. Cool. Those anti-venoms, one of them was brought by the Plague Doctor and the other two we just happened to pick up on the way so it's not like we desperately need them. Cool, cool. I especially want the ability to stack up some rubies because we've also got a sapphire stack. Jute Tapestry, you know, is a stack all by itself, but it's worth a thousand more than a Puzzling Trapezohedron, and Puzzling Trapezohedrons are ridiculous. Love to take it, but I can't. Okay. Clumsy is like the worst one I've seen so far. Hylomania is definitely the worst one. Okay. Nice. Good disarm. Pop the torch before we go in, just so that we can make sure that we get the scout. <laughs> I mean, it's so that we get the scout and then we don't get it. Uh, rough, but whatever, I'll live. Really unfortunate that Derville just picked up some extra stress there. Although now we've got two Pelagic Champions. This is fucking perfect. In fact, I can do it with one Pelagic Champion. So this is going to be the stall fight. I hate I hate to do it. Uh, you, have to, you have to understand it brings me no pleasure. But it needs to happen. I can't kill that Pelagic Tidemaster in time. The only thing I can do is guarantee that this Pelagic Piranha goes down in time. So I'm just going to guarantee that. Fuck off. Really? Ugh. In these higher levels, the Pelagic Tidemaster is so good about healing the person that you definitely don't want them to heal. I was really worried that these fellows would just kind of save one another constantly. Stress wave, please don't. This becomes really fucking bad in eight stresses time. Don't you dare. Right, that's it, cool. Please be virtuous. <laughs> Devil is powerful. That was unlikely, but excellently handy. Roll the stun, even though it's a lower chance. Need to get this Plagic Tidemaster down. That's going to be rough to do over a couple turns. I'm going to yell at them. Try and slow down the Plagic Tide. Never mind. Okay, that's a really good start, because that's not going to be removed. Powerful isn't, like, that great. It sounds weird to say, but... Uh, of all of the virtuous things that I could have given to a Plague Doctor, the one that increases their damage um, ain't exactly tip-top of my priority list. But it can also give damage to everyone else. So that's, you know, the saving grace on that. Alright, we need one of these to die, so... Yep, that's how it's going to be. That's how it's going to be. Then we can focus on recovery. It is going to be a fair few rounds. I'm not going to I'm not going to cock about the bush here. It's going to take a while. This is going to be a bit annoying, but with a stress heal that is guaranteed to do 10 every turn, promise of safety it's a lot better than it could be such a terrible assault cannot be left unanswered 
Okay. You can't just buff everyone's damage ridiculously. Don't mind if you do. You are guarded by. Okay, good. So it is the front liner that I'm actually going to be hitting with this. Beautiful. Okay, that goes down to 12. Up to Cestus. I mean, I'd like to stun these on the off turns, but... Not everything's as reliable as that. Up to Cestus. Nice dodge. Now, I want to do the, the group heals much more often now because the group heals... Okay, cool. We'll just focus on stunning the one that is going to remain. This one gets one more action, then it's dead. I don't care about that. We'll focus on doing group heals because group heals have the ability to crit on each individual character. And that's just a little bit of stress healing. That's fucking perfect. That could not have worked out better. See? A bit of stress heal there. Um, it's worth noting, Disorienting Blast can crit. And it just did. Okay. Little bit more stress reduction. Beautiful. Yeah, after this, we're actually... Look, this is... This is the recovery fight that we so desperately needed. Like, it wasn't a recovery fight I wanted. It was one I needed. This had to happen. Otherwise, we were going to get to the boss and people would stress the fuck out and that would be the end. Alright. Now is going to be the turn that we roll our guard. Okay. How many turns exactly are we going to need for this? What? Five, four, four, five, five, four, four, five. Shit, that's 18 more turns. Excluding our enemy critting or us critting on stuns and things like that. Yikes. You know what? That's going to take just a little too long. But this is now super, super kind of obvious how this is going to go. So I'm just going to bring you back when we're done with this. Savvy? Savvy. And we're back. <laughs> Round 28. Uh, yikes. All right. We're all good now. Everything's cleared. <laughs> Oh, that drains the absolute soul out of me. But you know what? It was necessary, so it's fine. I guess. I can't really take that, can I? I can't. Oh, well. No more money for me. I'm not going to go down that path. Not without scouting. Sorry, mon frere. This brigand raider need to die right now. You are blowing up right now. Uh, it's a 67% chance to stun after I hit. You know what? I'm just going to go for the damage. That was a nice high roll on the damage there. <sighs> Hopefully one of my characters sees fit to go before... Never mind. Eh. That could have been a lot worse. Why like could have done that much damage? Uh, looks like we're getting into a party heal sitch. It's dead. Ooh, the high rolls, though. All right, Infamous Cutthroat now only gets one more action. Blanket Fire goes across the party. Eh, reasonably small amount of damage. Party heal should be excellent here. Yeah. And it is, as per always. Healed, but never hidden. Nice. No actions for you. And now we've got the infamous Fusilier right here in my grasp. Ooh, easy. We have a free turn. I don't want to waste it. I should have done that heal on the uh, man at arms, actually. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. 
your stress. Ooh, beautiful crit on that means that it's going to be all of the stress. And then I'll just kill the infamous Fusilier here. Beauty. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Take this as we're going across. We're not planning on coming back. Second Sapphire. Quite pleased about that. Didn't need to pump that torch. That's my bad. If I end up slightly shy on torches, I'm going to know why. Okay, we didn't get a critical scout, so we still haven't got a scout down this way. Uh, this is another fight that I actually could have stalled if I needed to. But the other one's much easier. Blight those backliners. This one only gets one action, so we'll just... Oh, baby! That was... Can I stun you? I can. It's, it's a reasonable chance to as well. Yeah, alright. Neither of those backliners will ever get an action. We're... 140. 45% chance to hit this stun. I think I'm actually going to go damage. <laughs> yeah, it turns out that was a good idea. <laughs> yeah, that's completely fine. Sure, Reynard is now bleeding for 10 damage per round for three rounds. Uh, but we can just remove that instantly. So that was a heal for 33, casually. As long as I hit my stuns before the Suka Savage gets their turns, we're fine. He says as he doesn't hit his stun before the Uka Savage gets its turn. Good stun, though. Now that is proper flanking. Alright. I'm gonna have to heal this, uh, this bad boy up after. Yep, exactly. Oh, just buff everyone, dude! I forgot about the buff they give to the body. Alright, then... Start blighting you up. Definitely worth... That's back to full HP as well. Uh, I probably should have gone for the stun there. I wasn't guaranteed it, but... Zero damage. <laughs> and resisted all of the effects. <laughs> that actually could not have gone worse for them. I love it. There's nothing else to heal here, so it's now just... You know, wail on the Uka Savage. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade Beautiful. Ah, uh, the busts. The busts. I must improve my busts. Uh, what do I do with it? More important, the gold. Okay. Until we get that final level of the treatment ward, it's more important. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. Uh, see, this is where I kind of want to be stunning both of the backliners or stun the infamous Fusilier, try and move them out of position. This shuffle would actually be pretty good. What's it? Shuffle is... Shuffle single, 140 base. 70% chance to shuffle it. I'm going to do it. Yep. That's actually huge. This guy only has a shitty attack from back there. Harmless poke. Beauty. And the infamous Fusilier also only has a shitty attack in there. Uh, stunning the infamous Bloodletter is going to be a bit annoying. Oh, nice hit. There we go. Infamous Bloodletter down. And then I can finish off the infamous Fusilier before they even get an action. I mean, I really would have preferred to finish off the infamous Cutthroat before they get an action. But, you know. Beggars, choosers, etc. You know the rest of that one. Oh, these quits! Do you have Eagle Eye? <laughs> uh, no, nothing that would increase her crits. So these are just, what, uh, 11.5s? Nice. Uh, well, I'm actually going to try and destroy the corpse. Since there's nothing really else I can do right now, I need to wait for another character to die. Okay, start blighting up that back line. 
could have also used that as my stun opportunity. In fact, I probably should have. These hits, though. There's a good stun. Take this out. Yeah, we can... What is on with you, Mon... Uh, 12.5, sorry. What is up with you, Monty? Not that I'm holding it against you. That's just amazing. Uh, wah. I'm a big baby. I'm crying about it because that was really annoying. All right. Give the stress heal to you so that then you can heal someone else. This guy's already dead. I guess you're actually just going to be stress healing. Uh, sorry, healing and removing your own bleed. And then someone should just... Yeah. The bigger the beast, the greater the glory. Hmm. Pop my head out for a little bit of trout to some. Nope, not a good opportunity. The only person who's really good at trap disarming is the only person who doesn't need the stress recovery from it. Okay. I mean, if they were busts, I would throw away some gold for them, but they're not, so I won't. Otherworldly corruption. Although I'm starting to regret that stance. All right, it's time to camp. A spark without kindling is a goal without hope. If mortality debuffs, that would have been really powerful on those few. But uh, nighttime ambush prevention, I guess I can do with zealous vigil. It's again not necessary. I can remove spotted fever using the uh, the leeches. So that's two. And then Tactics Weapon Practice takes us to 10. And then I've only got two left over. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do the Nighttime Prevention. Nighttime Ambush Prevention. Because that could easily just fuck me up so badly that it would it's just be an insurmountable amount of pain. I just didn't loot that? Huh. That's unlike me. All hands on deck. Tries to blim forwards. None work out for him, though. 115, 140, 160. So that's not even a good chance. I, I guess I go for my blights on the back line. I mean, I definitely should. All available damage really go there until this drowned anchorman is thrown. Warning clutch does nothing. Yeah, just wail on him. Warding clutch. Oh no. The person in the front line who is particularly built to be resistant to the negatives that are currently occurring is having some trouble. Not gonna be a problem. The problem now begins because I really wanted that Drowned Anchorman to go before me, but I guess my Crusader is too fast is a sentence that you would never hear me say under nor normal circumstances, but I guess at the moment. Oh, that's never going to act. Yeah. Annihilated. Shouldn't have really done that. The Blight there was useless. Drink with the dead. Glug, 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 motherfuckers. And nothing doing. Alright. Hit him. Masterfully executed. Mutiny. I do have the ability to remove that debuff if necessary, but I guess it isn't. All hands on deck. Hey, figured that had to happen sooner or later. Unfortunately, she moved so quickly there. Can rectify the party positioning with... A quick old dodge forward. 
Can be our rampart. As they get to steal one of their actions. Hopefully you throw. You don't, but fuck it. I'll hit you first. Then you heave two. And then pretty much anyone should be able to deal with you from... Oh, no, never mind. You just now become super more powerful. Okay, so, yeah. This this is going to be a slow fight because it's going to be really difficult to slow down the opponent's roll here. I'm actually going to move myself there because I really need to move her back into the back line. I guess I just need to out-damage them? Out damage the heal that it's getting while I'm uh, being held. Like this, this fight will resolve well. We will win, but it's just you know how quickly that occurs. So we need to worry about. I'd really like to get some of these damage buffs that Powerful is supposed to be doing uh, for the rest of our party, please. Thankfully. Monty dodged that. Because Monty's been critting like crazy recently. And has plus 8% crit right now. And Mutiny is a, a crit debuff. So we don't want that. Eve 2. It'd be really, really nice if I'd thought about this and brought extra speed trinkets on the Crusader. Maybe instead a little bit of... Uh, instead of, rather, a little bit of the damage that we've been giving it. Oh, wow, you do get extra resist at this point. That sucks. Okay. Yeah, we're not guaranteed here 35 or above here, so... Start peppering in some damage with the dead. Not a problem for us. Yeah, that's a bad low roll right there. Yeah, we can't really damage through that. So it is everyone focus on the Drowned Ankman. Oh, left him on two. That's a fucking low roll and half right there. This is basically going to wipe out a turn's worth of our advantage here. Which is pretty fucked up. Not going to lie. All right, that's really good because that's 30 damage from that blight. 12 more than it would have been had we not crit. 15, that's a high roll. Yeah, go for it. Injury. I really I'll don't care. That's fear. not going to be how we lose this fight. How we lose this fight is if our frontline eye ends up being, I guess, like Monty and then gets super stressed. That's how we end up losing. But we just immediately move them back. And Monty is, in fact, going to go one line even further back because I've got the Holy Lance to fix up my positioning. A yeah, go over it. To body and brain. 23, kind of a low roll there. Okay. Everyone now focus on the Drowned Anchorman until it's dead. Mm, good blight, though. Come on. Don't let him stress out. 16, really high roll. We should be able to finish that off with a single strike from the Crusader. Yeah, you're probably stressing out, though. Uh, thank you for finally doing that, by the way, you prick. Yeah, one health. There we go. You're stressing out and focused. Holy shit! A moment That's actually excellent. In the eye of the storm. I don't know why, but that just let it go. So I'm just gonna kill the boss now. Because that's going to be super easy to do. Goodbye. They are cursed to float forever, deep in the swirling blackness, far beyond the light's reach. Well, shit, that worked out a lot easier than I thought it was going to. 
No, I'm going to throw all of those away. And then adventure only so far as to get this treasure that I left my uh, left behind. Well, damn. Pretty reasonable amount of money. I mean, Jute Tapestry will do that pretty much by itself. I'm I'm just really pleased with this uh, brim to brim. Just Darkness quite uh, quite pleased overall. Haunting the hearts of men. All right, let's go. I should have thrown away food rather than the shovels because the shovels actually sell for more. But eh, the difference is pretty ridiculously minor there. All right, Zoophobia needs to be removed. Weak grit needs to be removed. Tipla doesn't actually matter. The poor caretaker. I fear his long-standing duties here have affected him. All right, quest goals. We have now completed literally every quest goal. We're not going to go for the roster goals because I haven't been running an Abomination. I haven't been running an Arbalist. Uh, my Bounty Hunter, I've had one. Antiquarian, I've had one. I just got a second Antiquarian, and I'm not running a Leper. I've done all of the roster goals before. And they haven't really included a new class since I did all of the roster goals in my original series through Darkest Dungeon. Uh, speaking of including a new class, they've recently been talking about the Shield Bearer, or Shield Breaker, I believe it actually was. Uh, a supposed new class coming out... Question mark, question mark, question mark. If I knew, I'd tell you. I wish I did. Uh, I have to imagine that is going to come out, however, after this series is done. It's unfortunate. The last series I did... Directly after I finished it, the town events came out. <laughs> so what I need to do for people that like Darkest Dungeon is just finish a bunch of series on it really, really quickly. Because as it turns out, as soon as I finish a series, more content just miraculously comes out just to have the world spite me. So that I can't include it in the series. This is a rough life. Alright, we've got the Berserk Mask. is not actually bad. Has a place because the Leper is super slow. Uh, Rat Carcass, Blasphemous File. Yeah, not particularly interested in any of that jazz. 40 away from the patient cell that we want. Stagecoach has Mallory, Comet, Curtis, and Romain. Eh, none of those am I particularly interested in. We've now got all of the bosses. Every single boss. The only thing that I now need is this Fallen Guardian. Subject notes, uh, subject number 40 notes, plus 15% to your max HP, plus 35% to your, percent to your disease resist. Those aren't great stats to put on the Plague Doctor. It'll give you Blight and Stun Skill Chance a very small amount. Do I have the other Plague Doctor Trinket? If I do, I can check whether or not it's worth it. Yeah, I don't have the other Plague Doctor Trinket. All right, so I can't really make a full comparison because the other one would have to be accuracy plus something. Um, a bunch of resists would uh, would actually probably make that worthwhile. For the moment, though, my name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Darkest Dungeon. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time.